Hey guys, what's up? This is you with Help, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fully port Siri to your iPod Touch 4G, iPod Touch 3G, iPhone 4, uh, or iPhone 3GS, and the iPad 1 and the iPad 2. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you want to port Siri to your iPod Touch third generation, is that you will need to have uh, the Apple headphones since those have the internal microphone and uh, the iPod Touch does not have an internal mic, so you will have to connect the headphones to the um, iPod Touch and talk to Siri. So, uh, here Siri and my iPod Touch 3G with the, head with the headphones connected. Uh, so as you can see right there, it does work, uh, but now let's just disconnect the headphones and you will see that Siri does not even appear. So right there, I just disconnected them and uh, now let's try it. So um, as you can see, I'm holding my home button and Siri is not uh, popping up. So that's because I don't have my headphones connected. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Uh, but so let's just check out Siri on my iPod Touch and I'm just going to give you a few examples. So let's check it out. Hello, Siri. Hello, Alex. What's the weather like in New York? Here's the forecast for New York City. New York today through this Friday. So so as you can see right there, it does work and it actually does work quite fastly. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Siri and um, I'm going to recommend you very good uh, Siri proxies that are actually for life and for a very cheap price. And uh, first of all, what you need to do is you need to open up Syria and let's just quickly let it load here. So we just give it another second. Okay, so there's that, so just cancel this, and uh, so first of all, you'll have to go to the search tab, and you will have to search for Spire, so S-P-I-R-E, -I um, and there we go, you, sh you need to install the one from the Big Boss repo, since uh, that's the one, the most secure one, but as you can see right there, it is by Chipone, and uh, there, it explains, it explains what Spire is, and as you can see right there, uh, and it tells you that the catch is that you need to have a, Siri, a Spire proxy in order for Siri to authenticate. But um, you will need to install Spire and it does take 100 megabytes. So it should uh, take about 5 to 10 minutes to download. But after that you will have to reboot. And uh, after you reboot, if you go into your settings application and then go to general, you will see Siri. Uh, so we'll just let it load. So if you go into general, there's Siri, and you will have to enable it. Uh, but if you try to um, talk to Siri before configuring a Siri proxy, it will not authenticate. It it won't. It will just tell you that you need to set up a um, a proxy host. So let me just demonstrate you that. I just deleted my host. And as you can see right there, it's Aspire not configured, open settings to configure your proxy server. So that is the only catch that you need to have, yeah, that you need to rent a server. Uh, but so yeah, so, uh, and also you need to install a certificate. Um, and so it's not the proxy, but when you rent a server or you pay for one, they email you the certificate and they tell you, well, basically they tell you all, all the instructions and it's very simple. But so now in my computer, I'm going to tell you about two, two sites that are very good. And so the first one is the Blizzard dev team. And actually they have pretty good deals. So, um, they have four services, I think, or, uh, yeah, four, they have silver, gold, platinum, and pro, I think. So let's just see that. Yeah. And pro. So four. And so in the silver one, the, they all, all of these servers are for lifetime so that is uh, just perfect and so the silver one is 15 bucks and as you can see their lifetime usage uh, but the only bad thing of this is that it has limited support so meaning if uh, it stops working they won't attend you immediately and then you have the gold one which is lifetime usage full support and up to three server slots so you can use uh, up to three devices um, on the same server 
and then we get platinum which is 35 bucks and you get lifetime usage full support up to 25 slots so you can actually have 25 um, devices using siri for just 35 bucks and actually you can sell those slots to friends or just to people you, uh, whoever you want and finally you get the pro one which is 50 bucks and in this one you get lifetime usage full support up to 100 slots so that's just incredible and uh, it is fast than the other ones it has siri plugins uh, custom options and free upgrade to new servers so uh, they will be upgrading the servers constantly so that they don't lose speed but so that is the blizzard dev team and all of their servers are for lif lifetime but that just depends on what you want and so personally i will go with this um option uh but so i'm just gonna tell you about another one and this one this guy is on twitter and he's called siri proxy server and he rents um for 15 bucks he rents the server for a month and for 20 bucks he rents it for two months uh so obviously i know that you're gonna go with the other guy but for some reason if i don't know if you just don't want siri for a lifetime uh, you will go with this one, but I know uh, personally I would rather go with the other ones. And if you get tired of Siri, you just don't use it. And then if you want to use it again, you can uh, use it again since it is for a lifetime. Uh, but so I'll have both of these links down below. And so uh, I am currently using the other one because I rented my server for uh, about uh, two weeks ago. And the, the other one, the Blizzard dev team, appeared just... Um, a few days ago i think actually a day ago but so yeah but so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video hope you did enjoy it and please comment down below guys if this helped you and also rate this video up guys and subscribe and also follow me on twitter and so yeah guys hope you have a great day and i'll catch you later